YouTube, I'm Donna. Welcome to Double D Homestead. And today I am going to try my homemade candle lasagna. This is not an FDA approved recipe. Do this at your own risk in your own kitchen. But before I make more, let's open this and warm it up and see if I like it. If I like it, let's make a batch. Alrighty, so I'll give you a look at it up close. I got the lid off. That's cheese on top. And this is what it looks like real close up. As you can see, I layered it. And now I'm not wanting to microwave my cannon jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in a bowl and get it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and microwave it. You can uh, go ahead and put this in like some hot water if you wanted to, to warm it up. But let's warm this up and give it a try. That's what it looks like. It smells pretty good. So let's get it warmed up and we'll try it. Here it is warmed up. Can you hear it? It's sizzling. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> All right, so my biggest concern is the noodles. Just hopefully they're not too mushy. Like too mushy. Just like like spaghettios and mushy. Yuck. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try a noodle first. And make sure it's not too mushy. not bad for bean can it's not terrible it's better than like say a chef bar de ravioli and I'm gonna try a bite of everything all together the cheese the meat everything and see how it is change the color of the cheese a little bit because that cheese was white but I imagine that's the sauce mmm it's not bad. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. All right, well, I'm going to go eat my lunch. And we'll be back to make some of this. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this ground beef here, browned up with this onion. And I'm just going to fry it all together in a skillet. I'll probably put some onion powder, salt, pepper, garlic powder on this. Typical lasagna flavors. The spice is up to you, to your taste. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back when this is cooked up. Alrighty, so what I got here is, there's my ground beef. I fried it up with some onion and garlic. Put a little salt and pepper in it, because remember, when you can it, it will, like, the flavors intensify with spices. And I've got some uncooked lasagna noodles. These are not, not the oven-ready ones. And I've got some mozzarella cheese here, about a pound of that. I got a can of mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I'm putting mushrooms in it. Your favorite can of sauce, your homemade, store-bought, whatever it is you like. I'm using this today. And I've got, this is optional, ricotta cheese because I love this creamy cheese in my lasagna. And this is so easy. I'm going to show you how to do this or throw it across the floor. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. These didn't hit the floor, I promise. So you're just going to break off little pieces of lasagna like so. Well... I'm sorry. First, you want to put a little sauce on the bottom of that jar for liquid. So I'm gonna put a couple little spoons of sauce, just like so, just a little bit, so it's not naked down there. Cause you don't want your lasagna to be dry. And doing the noodles this way, it's very easy to make it dry. I'm gonna pop that noodle on there. Put that on there. If you use more than one piece, it's okay. A couple little pieces I'm gonna put on there. Just like so. Boop, boop, boop. And then I'm gonna add another big spoon of sauce. Just like so. Can you see that one okay? Just like so. I'm gonna cover them noodles up good. And then I'll put a few of my mushrooms in there. It's like so. And you can easily double this. I'm using my electric pressure cooker. Thank you, Glenn, for the idea to buy one of those. Best hundred bucks I ever spent. Cut it on a great sale on Amazon. And uh, I'll put some ricotta cheese in there. Just about a teaspoonful, just a little clump. Boop. Just like so. Then I'm gonna put some meat. Just 
however much you want to put. I'm going to put a couple teaspoons, I think, like so. I think I'll put just a little bit more right there. Now I'll put some cheese, mozzarella cheese. Just a pinch like that. Can you see it? And then I'm going to put some more sauce on top. Just like so. And if you want to double this, you're more than welcome to. It's super easy to double. I'll put just a little bit more sauce on this side too. I'm going to put some more noodle in. It's like so. And it's okay that they're broken up. It's perfectly fine. It does not hurt anything. And you can use wide mouth jars if you have them. Mine were all full right now. So I'm using small mouth. And, uh, and just start all over again with a spoon of sauce, like so. Wiggle that around, just like that. And go in with some meat, like so. Whoops, let me get it all over the counter. I'm gonna put some more mushrooms in, just like so. And yes, I'm making a mess. I always do. <laughs> Some more ricotta cheese. Put a spoon there. Spoon there. Kind of smoosh that down a little bit. Some more mozzarella cheese. And we're going to leave an inch of head space in these. And then we're going to get one more layer of noodles. One more layer. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> I might have to clean when I get done here. Alrighty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this last layer. And get it done. Just like so. Put my ground beef down. with my seasons in it. Uh, spill it. Alrighty. And I'm gonna put some more cheese in here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this ricotta, I believe. And I kinda, I'm running out of room. Smoosh it down. A little more mozzarella. Push that down. So that I've got one inch of head space. See that right there? That's one inch. And push a little air out too. And I'm gonna clean off the rims of my jars. You want this very top super clean. Checks for chips and cracks. Make sure there is no chips and cracks. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're going to put our lid and ring on. And my windows are open. I don't know if you just heard my chicken go across the yard. <laughs> it's so pretty today. And then it's going to be in the 40s next week. And that's it. I'm going to do the other three jars and get them in the canner. Alrighty, I got my jars ready to go. I got me some white distilled vinegar. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that in my canner. A little bit more. I got my jars done. I just have to load them. I got five of them. That's a load in this. And these are gonna be canned just like meat. 75 minutes for pints, 90 minutes for quarts. And I'm gonna get this going for 
70 minutes, 75 minutes. And there it is all canned up. That's a blue jar right there. That's why it looks funny. And I hope you like this recipe. And thanks for giving me the idea to can this. And if there's anything else you want to see me can, just let me know. And y'all take care. God bless you. Happy Friday.